Hello, hello, hello. This is a video for the empaths out there. Hello, welcome. I bless you. I love you. I welcome you to this video, empaths. You feel everything. Oh, you feel everything and you absorb everything. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, I know, I know. Believe me, I know. So let's talk about that just for a moment. Let's talk about how we move through this year, how we move through and how we released last year as well. So empaths, there are a few things that we need to be aware of. So first, we know that we absorb everything, right? Whether you're walking past a newspaper that's got some low energy stuff going on inside it and you absorb that, whether you hear something in passing, whether you go past a group of people, right? You're absorbing, absorbing, absorbing. So the first thing is we need to protect our energy and we protect from love. We don't protect from fear. We don't protect by putting up a boundary. We protect by sealing our energy field, by calling in, by receiving from the divine mother father and filling our own chalice, brightening our own light before we do anything else, before we see anyone else. Empath, light worker, even starseed. Check the other two videos I did on this. This is really good videos, really good messages in both of them. But just as a bit of practice, we should never be sending messages to anyone. We should never be sharing with anyone or communicating with anyone until we have secured that. So if the first thing you do is wake up and you go and check your phone, you go see to your family before you've spent some time just reconnecting in your awakened state and your being awake after sleep state, the first thing you need to be doing is filling your energy up first with that divine light, that golden light. Just let it fill you up, let it surround you, let it embrace you, let it hold you. And let it walk with you so that it can transmute and only allow things in that are of that divine love. At the end of the day, clear your energy field. Don't take it to bed for you. Choose who you're contacting. Choose who you're touching. Choose who you're being with. Every time we touch another, and I know there's a little bit of restriction around that right now, but every time we touch another, you know, we're exchanging cellular memory, cellular energy. Things as well. So I say this to you, empath, because you absorb so much and um, you don't have to, really, is what I'm trying to say is that, and even if you do, you can still release that and ground that, you know, you empaths absorb because we're here to transmute, we're here to release, we're here to ground it. You're healers, after all, an empath is a light worker, they really go hand in hand. You don't need to accept or receive anything that isn't yours to receive as well. Oftentimes, empaths are noted to get into um, off-balance, dynamic situations, relationships. And they use the term empath or the can-do, right? We can do. We can use that as an excuse, but that's not an excuse. Something can only have power over us. Someone can only have power over us if we allow that in, to hook in, right? So that's why our spiritual di um, diligence, our spiritual discipline, how we start our day, how we end our day and how we recuperate our energy and fill ourselves up through the day, how that really actually impacts. How it impacts, how it influences. Yeah. We're here to spread light into the world. We're here to help heal this planet. You've come here with a mission of helping people that aren't as clear seeing as you to really help the whole world transcend what it's feeling but we can't do that if we choose to remain the victim by giving away our power by saying it is because of this that I'm sick it's because of this that this is because of this that this no that's the biggest kind of red herring we're thrown in this lifetime as an empath is we think that it's a condition rather than a gift, rather than an honor. Don't let it be a condition. Don't let it be a disability. Allow it to empower you. Allow it to run through you. Allow it to really become a part of you and allow yourself to understand the full dynamic of what that entails and why you were gifted with that ability. Okay. I see you. I hear you. I love you. Do be sure to really work with that energy field. Do some breath work. Reach out to me if you would like any guidance, anything specific. I'll do a video, I'll put a video out here for you to help guide. Because if you're asking it, I can tell you there'll be a hundred others that are asking it easy. Okay. 
and just choose where you're allowing your energy to go. Is it on social media when your newsfeed is full of low energy things? Is it to the news that is on in the background in between songs on the radio? Or are you spending your time out in nature, connecting with your animal, speaking with loved ones, creating and really doing things that fill you up? Because that's what we're here to teach as well, right? I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. It's always an honour, a privilege and a blessing. So much love, joy and abundance to each and every one of you.